Keyshawn, how impressed have you been with Justin Fields' play? I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed. But I also looked at him in Chicago, and I watched him at Ohio State. Mm -hmm. And I saw what he was working with at Ohio State, and I saw what he was working with in Chicago. Now I see he has an established coach who actually knows what he's doing in Mike Tomlin. Mm -hmm. He's a running game, he's got a defense, and he's not feeling the pressure of being yanked every time something goes wrong. Right. I mean, it's a problem. So it, it's all the confidence in the world for him, man. And, and for a guy like this, he looks confident. He just, you could just tell. I kind of call him a, a mini version of Jalen Hurts to me, right? He's just, everything he's doing, whether it's running the football, whether it's delivering it, whether it's getting himself out of harm's way, the one thing that he's doing better than Jalen is not turning the football over yet, okay? Now, I say yet because he got a long ways to go. Mm -hmm. He may have a couple turnovers here and there. Who knows? But if he just does the things that he's been doing here in the last several weeks, all good. Yeah, I think uh, he's gotten better as the weeks have gone along. I mean, have I been impressed? I think he still has room for growth. Absolutely. I mean, I, I look for, I mean, because I look at their scoring, they scored 18 points game one, 13 and 20. I've yet to go over 21. I think the number we got to look at is what they've been doing defensively, the, uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers, yeah. you know, and they are putting him in a position to say, hey, Fields, just don't lose us the game. I don't think he's winning the games, but I'll tell you what, he's not losing them the games. And so, you know, as he can continue to just get better and get more confident, you know, because he's the only quarterback that's undefeated that's probably not in any MVP talks. You know, when we talk about Sam Darnold, now he's in the MVP talks. Of course, Mahomes. Uh, of course, uh, maybe we can start talking about Geno now. Where they kicking field goals, though. Yeah. So. And so, you know, the good thing about him is he's not losing the game for them. Right. And so that's going to be key because if the Steelers can play at all, look, they're, they're number one in points allowed. Total yards allowed first, pass defense six, rush defense second. I mean, if they're going to play defense like that, and he could be solid, mm -hmm. Steelers can go a long way. I'm very, very, very impressed with Justin Fields. I was not a believer after what happened in Chicago. And I understand Chicago was rough, and it's Chicago still looking rough, even with all the changes that they brought in. But... I did not know what Justin Fields was going to be. And I know what the Steelers are, and I know what Mike Tomlin is, but I didn't know what Justin Fields was going to be. And he has been so impressive to me. He is not losing games, which right. was what he was doing in Chicago, along with having a hard time being consistent. And the consistency for me is the biggest thing that has impressed me with Justin Fields. Because it's, it's, he's had moments where he's had big plays. Mm -hmm. He's had moments where he's had a, a, a game and he's, he's won the game. That's why he was in Chicago for three years. But he hasn't been able to be consistent, not turning the ball over, making the right decisions, 78% completion percentage. He's not losing them the games. He's doing what they're asking him to do. I think he's been unbelievably impressive. And when you're looking at how the Steelers play football, yes, if you're running into a prolific offense, you yeah. might have some problems because even the defense isn't going to be perfect all night. And are you going to be able to match that? We'll see. Well, they'll get the opportunity to play in a game like that this year. For the most part, they're going to win games like this because this is, this is how they're able to do it because their yeah. defense is built the way it is. But I think Justin Fields has been so impressive. I'm really happy for him that he's gotten this opportunity because I was not sure what it was going to look like. I was 0% convinced that it was going to look like this. And he is... He has well over-delivered as far as I'm concerned. And this game was the one that was, con was going to be the convincing one to me because even though I know Justin Herbert was dealing with some health issues, they've been able to put up points. Yeah. So, and they're playing de good defense. So this was a really good matchup for them to answer some questions. But after the win, Russell Wilson tweeted, great team W. Russ has remained sidelined as Justin Fields keeps winning as a starter. Has Fields officially... <laughs> Has Fields officially locked up the starting job over Russell Wilson? Why, why are you giggling? Why are you giggling? Why has I, he locked just, up? Has he locked up the starter? Yeah, I, it, for for now. But I back to what you said. Why am I giggling? Because I'm like, great team W. Like, okay, man, we get it. Like, Russ, come on, calm down. I mean, we haven't forgot about he's you. He's supporting baby. his team. We haven't forgot about you, Russ. You you just keep, hold on, <laughs> stay loose. Um, <laughs> stay loose. Oh, yeah, stay man. loose. They, 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 has I, he locked up the starting job? Yes. Though? Yes, he has for the next several weeks, week to week, right? So we go give him three more weeks. Give him <laughs> three more weeks. And what I say by that... Well, I don't think Joy, that's locked up then. Well, well, hold on. Let me, let me finish, though. So if he plays the same way he's been playing mm -hmm. 
and they're not losing the game because of him. They don't all of a sudden lose two in a row because he's like tricking the game off by doing something goofy. Then it's his job. It's his. It's done. Because they're gonna. Be, that means that they'll be five and one. You know, so undefeated, six and zero. Oh. He's gotta almost fall apart mm -hmm. at this point in time because what the longer he plays the more everybody gets comfortable with his style of play and who he is as a leader yeah. and as their quarterback. And at that point, there's nothing I could see other than just a couple bad back-to-back -back performances that is like, yeah, we might want to rethink this for Russell to even get the job back. What do you think, Paul? Yeah, I think he has locked it up, to be honest. I mean, think about it. Like, it's been three weeks. It's going to be another week. He's going to be in the starting lineup. And then Keith said, look, it's going to take a couple bad performances, which will make it five weeks, six weeks. At this point, you've developed the chemistry mm -hmm. with, with, your, with your team. And it's just like, how do you go back to the drawing board with Russ, who's only been there in training camp, and then he got hurt, and, you know, he hasn't really been getting a lot of the reps, you know, with the starting group. And so how do you, like, go from what you've seen now with Justin Fields and go to Russ after that? I mean, it has to just have to be a total fall off for him to just... He got not fall have flat. It, like he got to fall flat. flat on his face for him not to have the job coming up, and I'm talking about he got to lose about four in a row, like at this point, like to where they're under 500 right now. They're three and zero, and I don't really see that doing with the defense that they're playing. If he can just keep you in the games and grind these wins out, I don't see Russ getting back in the starting lineup. So. To me, he's locked it up. Yeah, th that's a really good point that you're making. He, it's not like Russell Wilson has any established equity with this team. No. It's not like there's – now, someone's paying him a lot of money, but the Steelers aren't paying him a lot of money. So there's no, – and it's not like he's coming off of some unbelievable season. He had a good yeah. season last year, but he's not coming off of some unbelievable season where you have this looming energy of, like, we got to get mm -hmm. Russ in. Now, you felt like that maybe week one – because we hadn't seen Justin Fields. But now we've seen Justin Fields. He's won three in a row. He's doing what you're asking him to do. He's not throwing the game away. He's not looking like he did in Chicago. He's getting more confident. There's momentum. There's chemistry. The, the fans are excited. The team feels good about it. Everything's, everything's going good. Of course you're going to eventually lose a game. But how you lose the game and how does that... How, it matters. What, what is the bounce back from that? Because Russell Wilson could come in and throw a game away as well. Mm -hmm. there's, there's not that, that, that equity that Russ has does not exist in Pittsburgh yet. It's not like, you're okay, this is our vet. He's been here a couple years. Yeah. We know going back to him what he's capable of doing. The, it's all just guesses at this point. So I, I, I'm not taking this job away from him unless it goes completely sideways. He does. Which, why would it go sideways at this point? He does some things much better than Russ could for this particular situation with Arthur Smith this particular team and what they want to do. You, you talk about the RPO game, the touchdown, and you, Russ ain't doing that no more. Russ could have done that, you know, 10 years ago. Right. Russ is not capable of doing that right now. He's just not. And so that's a strength that the Pittsburgh Steelers have in their back pocket on the offensive side of the ball. And I understand that they, as I told you, one touchdown, all we need is one, right? And a couple field goals. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Defense, run the football, Play defense, silent and sound. We're going to get out of here every time with a W as long as he doesn't give the football to another team on a consistent basis. Yeah, because the, the offense isn't – it's not a, a, a dynamic, over-the-top, finesse offense. It's no. a grinded-out offense. So if you're turning the ball over and you're giving extra opportunities to the other team and they're taking advantage of that, then you're putting yourself in a hole that may force him to make those kind of mistakes because he's pressing. So he's really playing the type of football that yeah. they want him to play, and his execution of it is why I don't think you make any changes unless, of course, things go completely sideways. And again, is Russ even healthy? Like, we're talking yeah. about this as if Russ is, you know, been on vacation or something. Right. Like, he is an older quarterback coming back from an injury and, again, hasn't been out there with his team. I'm assuming he's healthy. I'm assuming you think he's healthy? healthy? I'm assuming he's healthy. Like 100% <laughs> ready to go? Nobody's maybe, ever 100%. Maybe, well, okay. But you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I, I think, it, I think if, it, if he had to play, he could play. If he needed to, like if they something happened, he's, oh, you got to play, Russ. Yeah. I'm sure he could play. But in the end, stay loose. We got you. Don't worry. Just stand right here with, close to me and, and help me figure out these plays. Well, That's what I, they saying to it well, right well, now. They, they didn't see this coming <clears throat> from Fields because, for one, yeah, you got to understand, he wasn't even <laughs> Stay loose. He wasn't even the starting quarterback going into the season. If, if Russ had been healthy, he'd be on the sidelines. So now that he's right. winning games, he's ahead of the learning curve. So even if things don't go well, you know what? 
we're going to give him the benefit of, benefit of the doubt because Russ, he's pretty much on his way out anyway. And let's just start his development right now, like, like which they're doing. And so I think it's great that he's playing the way he's playing and they're winning. I mean, at this point, you could ca almost can let Russ go. It will, no, it, no, 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 we're not going to do that yet. Yeah, not, not yet, but it is, it is, a, it is the ideal situation for the Steelers that yeah. Justin Fields is the starter and won the job because he's younger and they can – He's younger, he's affordable right now. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to spend a lot to get him. And you know, if he rolls this over into the end of the season and into next year, okay, now you have your, your quarterback of the future, whereas yes. you didn't really necessarily feel that way. It was more of a bridge ching, situation ching, ching, ching. with Russell Wilson. Listen, if he gets it, he earned it. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.